This eye-level view of a landscape architect's model appears three-dimensional. However, the image it forms on the retina of the eye is only two-dimensional. Distance and depth are perceived not by the eye, but by the brain, which recognizes certain visual features as indications of the relative positioning of each object. Observe the following cues in this picture. Objects on the horizon, or high in the field of view, appear far away. Colors fade, and detail is lost in the most distant objects. Note the relative size of the main objects. The open space between objects decreases in the distance, and lines seem to converge. Shadows indicate the positions of objects in relation to one another, to the ground, and to the light source. If the outline of one object breaks the contour of another, the object with the broken contour appears farther away. Now look at this picture. Here the same model as the one seen previously is viewed from a more elevated position. There are now differences in the positioning of objects. The trees and the arch are the same distance away from the wall in the foreground. The rows of bushes and the flower bowls are all behind the arch, not in front of it. The lawns extend only a few feet in front of the arch. The model has been made in such a way that all these cues are present in the first picture, giving the brain the impression of immense depth. From this elevated view, it is evident that the depth does not exist and the ambiguities of the model are revealed. The brain has deceived itself because the scene contravened normal experience.